Israel and Saudi Arabia have sparred at a summit that was organized by Bahrain. And this has come as a very prominent Saudi prince has slammed the state of Israel as the last of the Western colonizing parts of West Asia. The Saudi prince, Turk al Fasil has accused Israel of arresting thousands of Palestinians. Without mincing any words, al Fasil said that the Abraham Accords, or the so-called Arab-Israel peace deals, are just not a solution to the regional problems that are posed by Israel. He also went on to state that Saudi Arabia will only normalize ties with Israel in return for a guarantee that there will be a Palestinian statehood. Remember, Israel, till this point, has not declared as to what its final borders will be, and despite international outreach, continues to build illegal settlements on Palestinian land. The Israeli delegation was caught completely off guard with Prince al Faisal's remarks, which came at a time when Israel has signed these peace deals with the United Arab Emirates and with Bahrain. They humbly depict themselves as a small existentially threatened country surrounded by bloodthirsty killers who want to eradicate her from existence. And yet, they declared war on Hamas as a terrorist organization. And yet, they profess that they want to be friends with Saudi Arabia. And yet, all Israeli governments are the last of the Western colonizing powers of the Middle East. You cannot treat an open wound with palliatives and painkillers. The Abrahamic Accords are not divine writ. All right, some pretty strong words there by the Saudi prince. Now, the Israeli foreign minister, Gabi Ashkenazi, who was attending the summit, virtually rejected the prince's remarks, saying that they did not reflect West Asia's reality. At the beginning of my remark, I would like to express my regret on the comments of the Saudi representative, the foreign minister. I don't believe that uh, they reflect the spirit and the changes uh, taking place in the Middle East. The Prince Al Faisal, who had earlier served as the Saudi ambassador to the United States and also as the head of the Saudi intelligence, does not hold any official position presently. Nonetheless, he still remains an extremely an influential figure in the country's royal family. However, he does seem to have much influence also on the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who has shown a lot of willingness to actually continue with Israel in a bid to counter common rival Iran. However, Saudi Arabia has been vocal about Palestinian statehood recently. Riyadh has said that peace with Israel is only possible with the Arab Peace Initiative, which is a 2002 Saudi-sponsored agreement that offers Israel full ties with all Arab states in return for a Palestinian statehood on territory that Israel actually illegally captured in 1967 and to this day continues to expand on it.